Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, June 30, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Psalms 32, reading verse 7 to 8. And it says, Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with my eye. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your words this morning. And I pray that we will be encouraged as we continue to study. You know, the relationship that David and God shared is one of a special kind. And I always admire his approach to his spiritual life and his walk with God, even though he mess up from time to time. He's one of those very sincere persons and he's never afraid to acknowledge when he's wrong, which is an attribute that a lot of us lack. And so David here is saying that God is his hiding place and he knows that only God can preserve him from his trouble. What say you? What say me? Is God our hiding place? Have we accepted his protection? on our lives? Do we believe that He is our hiding place? Do we believe that He is able and can preserve us from our trouble? Because knowing and believing is two different things. And so when we accept God's favor and grace on our life, it's supposed to show in our action towards Him. In the way that we live our life, we must walk as children of light. And so, when we are going about our daily routine, we must hold up our head high, knowing that God is on our side. Don't give the world a dim view of God, meaning that we walk around with our face long down, and everything that happens, we, we seem to be hot and bothered about it. We are affected negatively, emotionally about it. We seem to have no confidence in God's ability to do anything for us. Now, if we said that we are His children, then we must be able to say that He is our hiding place and that He can preserve us and protect us from trouble. And therefore, it means that our attitude will reflect what we believe. And so when the world look at us, they will see, even without us saying anything, that we are truly under God's protection. Mm -hmm. God, he says, will compass him about. God will surround us and he will protect us. And David was a musician, you know, so he's talking, he's, he used the word songs of deliverance. Huh? A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark that never fail. And so God is more than able to do for us what we can do for ourselves. We can't protect ourselves. And that is why it is good when we can find peace in God because his peace will transform our lives for the better. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so God, he will instruct us and he will teach us in the way that we need to go. But the question remains, do we want God to teach us? Are we willing to listen? Are we uh, willing to allow God to guide us? Because that's another question that we need to ask ourselves. Because the truth is that some of us, we have a big problem with anybody leading us for that matter. And if we can't do that, if we can't allow God to lead us, then how is he going to protect us? It means, therefore, that we are going to walk after our own path. We are going to walk out of his protection, walk from the umbrella of safety out in the rain of destruction. And so we must be willing and we must be teachable. God is there. He has a wealth of knowledge to impart to us if we will only humble ourselves and so god eyes is always on us watching over us and he wants to do more for you and for me but we have to let him in we are tiny's and and why i say that we are tiny's and is that because we are not inviting him in 
and he will not force himself on us then it's just like the help is there but the help is not there because you are not willing to accept the help but i pray this morning that we will be comforted knowing that god god we can run to him we can hide in him and we can feel and we can have the confidence knowing that he will protect and deliver us may god continue to bless and keep us in jesus name amen <music>